Operating Systems, Chapter 5, File Management. Behind an apparently simple operation like open rw slash home slash user slash foo.c1, that means open for read and write the file foo.c stored in slash home slash user to be shared with other processes, there is a whole world of mechanisms, algorithms and data structures to fill the gap between the high-level function and byte-level operations. Today, we'll dive in the file management system. First, we need to understand what a file is. Plain and simple, it's a cluster of data seen as an entity by the user. By user, we mean humans, and not so human beings. The main goal of files is storing data in a persistent way so it remains accessible way after the life cycle of the process that created it or used it is finished. Thus, files must be manageable and there are some standard operations open, read, write and close. In this case, we are focusing on the open operation. When the system receives such request, it needs to check some conditions before granting access to the storing device. Let's start walking through the path. The file path starts with a slash, interpreted in Unix systems as the root directory. Every file in the file system hangs from there. We will repeat the following loop several times. Load the file descriptor block of the slash directory to read the content of it, looking for a folder called home. If not found, we should prompt an error message and abort. Happily, it exists. So we repeat the operation. Read the FDB of home, look for user, and if it exists, get its FDB to look for foo.c. If it exists, we found it. We can now try to open it. At this moment, and after checking the permissions, the operating system looked at a table called System Open File Table. This table, unique per file system, presents different fields. A pointer to the file, a counter for sharing and, well, it depends. In a first version, it contains the file descriptor block of each open file. So we may find the same data, this file descriptor block, replicated in the table. Waste of time and memory, eh? That's why the file descriptor block table was invented. A unique table storing only once the file descriptor block of every open file in the system. With this, each entry of the system open file table can point to the file descriptor block table instead of storing the file descriptor block itself. Anyhow, from now on, we may find two possibilities. Given that our call asks for a shared file, it could happen that the same file was already opened by another process. Of the record. If the sharing mode was a zero, we would directly create a new entry. No check needed. This is not enough to share the entry in the table. The opening mode, reading, writing, or both, must be as well the same. Otherwise, a new entry with the specific mode will always be generated. We don't share entries if we don't share the pointer's mode. On the contrary, we may find the situation in which a shareable entry doesn't exist. Different file, or same file but not shared, or same file shared but different access mode. Let's imagine this is the case. The system will then create a new entry in the system open file table with the following data. Pointer for reading and writing, 
initially set at zero, beginning of the file, number of shares set to one, that means shared mode, one process at this moment using it, and the file descriptor block of foo.c, or if the file descriptor block table exists, a pointer to the entry in the file descriptor block table storing the file descriptor block of foo.c. Of course, if such entry didn't exist, we'd need to create it. Only one last step. Each process has its own process open file table, with a pointer to the corresponding system open file table entries of the different file descriptors in use. Guess what? We need to create a new entry in this table, pointing to the entry already created in the system open file table. Finally, the operating system can return the pointer in the process open file table to the process calling the function. But what if the shareable entry did exist? Let's rewind a bit. In this case, provided that the file, the sharing mode and the access mode are the same, we could share the entry. To do so, we increment the number of shared, and in the process open file table, we create the new entry with a pointer to the shared entry. Hallelujah! Not so simple for opening a damned file, but this is an operating system, a clockwork to make your life easier.